Hi, it's Andrew. Quick video for you today. This is a Swordfish 1000XC shredder. It will go backwards, but the ready light will not come on and it will not go forwards. I hadn't planned on doing a video about it, but I've just decided that I will, which is why we haven't got the usual starting from scratch, taking it apart. So you can see I've removed this circuit board. The things I've done so far, check that the optical switch was clean. It was, that didn't make any difference. Check that the micro switch safety cutout micro switch is working, which it is. Check there's no debris in the main switch here, which there isn't. We know there's power to the motor and we know it's working and we also know the ready light isn't coming on. So that makes me think it's probably not a problem with the motor. In the course of looking at this board, the main board, I, I noticed that the circuit board around this xenodiode here is a little bit burnt. I don't know whether you can appreciate that on camera. Let me shine a torch on it, see if that will make any difference. Actually, turning it over, you can probably see it more clearly. Now, I've tested this with the multimeter and it's showing the same reading in both directions. So whichever way round you have the, pro the test leads, the reading is the same. So that tells me something ain't quite right there. So what I'm going to do is desolder it, test it again, and then assuming that test shows that it's still duff, I'll be replacing it and seeing what happens. Okay, so I've taken that Xena diode out. You can see the hole where it was just there. Got it in a little circuit board clamp just to enable me to get to both sides of it nice and easily. So the meter's on diode setting as you can see. So that is indeed duff, it's completely open circuit. I actually tested this before I recorded this little bit of video, so you don't have the weight that I had for some new components. They are right here. You just bring one over. These aren't exactly the same size as the one that was taken out, but they are the same specification. It's quite difficult to find some of exactly the same size without either having to buy a hundred of them or paying through the nose for them. So that's why I decided to settle on one that's slightly different size. So you can see there quite a difference in the measurements between the broken one and the replacement. So let's solder it in and see if it makes any difference. So there you go. That's a Swordfish Crosscut 1000XC shredder. It had a faulty Xena diode. I'll put the details of the exact diode that I used in the description. So I hope this helps if you've got a similar shredder that's misbehaving. 
fixed for the sum total of about 50 p's worth of parts and a little bit of time with a soldering iron and that is a shredder saved from landfill so great stuff if you like this sort of thing please consider subscribing to the channel so you get to find out when i publish new content thanks very much for watching and i'll see you for the next one bye